Hey guys, it's Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome back to another timeless tune-in message. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. As a reminder, it is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with all of you. So you know the, the drill, guys. You take what resonates, you leave the rest, you don't force anything to fit. No, we don't do that, guys. <laughs> And uh, we just, we go with it, okay? And if you want something more private and personable, yes, my bookings will be open by the end of this week, okay? So they are happening. And I do highly recommend you guys look and peruse the playlist, the timeless tune-in playlist, because, you know, like I said, everybody with their intuition, you might hone into something and a message that you might have to hear, all right? So yes, definitely peruse that list. Definitely check out my Facebook group called Harmonia Friends. I go live on there quite frequently and I have other readers and light workers and healers and amazing people in there. It's a smaller group, but it's it's intimate and it's fun. And yeah, you should check it out. All right, let's get started. We're in a minute in here. All right, collective calling in our guides, our ancestors and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for the collective today. What story do we got for who needs to hear this today? What's going on for the collective? What do we have for the collective spirits? What do we have? <clears throat> Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. And one more card here. Hold on. What additional information we have? Crown chakra here. Downloaded messages for sure. Intuition highly being used here. Oof. Got sacrificed, but it's reversed. So listen. Why do I keep feeling like this is like almost like saying no more. I'm not sacrificing. I'm not being too small anymore. A lot of you are claiming your independence here. Now, independence can come in many forms, okay? Whether this is independence as meaning you're no longer codependent. Other times it could just be independence of like doing something on your own. It could be a project. Some of you though, this is claiming your independence from an individual. A lot of you are, this is going to be more focused on there because it feels like You've really come into your crown here. 41 comes to a five, so this is all about change. But this is receiving messages. This is divine messages that you've been receiving, but man, I mean, sacrifice means is you're not being the sacrificial lamb here, collective, right? Your armor is not even needed at this point. So it's kind of like, I'm over this. I'm like putting my, it's not, it's almost, I keep hearing surrender. Um, and that's different than sacrificing, okay? Because it's not like you're giving up. It's just that you're surrendering for something better. And I keep hearing I'm surrendering for something better. Something that I'm that is my worth. But let's see what the tarot cards have to say. What additional messages do we have here for the collective? <clears throat> here we go. Seven of Cups. Death. There's that transformation. Angel du la Nite, which is Angel of the Knights, and Eight of Wands. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this is all shadow work here. <laughs> but there's messages, something big coming in here. A lot of options, unseen options, not sure of certain things, right? But it's that inner knowing, receiving the information that you need, okay? This is water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. How interesting is that it's next to death? Because I feel like there's a transformation in here, being that the options that you have, the opportunities that you have are going to be really bountiful. So I feel for some of you, this is basically, maybe you're on your own, okay, for if this is love related, because a lot of you, this is love related. There's a transformation that needed to happen. And maybe you couldn't see everything because it's becoming behind the scenes, right? So maybe... And I know this is hard for some of you to believe because it's like, no, I'm in this and this is, you know, I'll never be in another relationship or I don't understand why something's not being manifested quick enough. But sometimes when this kind of energy happens, it's because things are happening behind the scenes because you have to get to the level of growing so that you can transform, right? So there were certain lessons I'm hearing and experience here. Now with the angel of the night, this is really the dark side. This is like the, the shadow side of you, okay? Now, this is a particular card that I feel for a lot of you, it's facing things that you no longer serve you. Codependency, a lot of you, not need, like having an independence here. Many of you, it's being able to move forward here in a level that 
<clears throat> lets you feel free, okay? Free from anxiety, free from, I keep, some of you, this is financial freedom as well. It's like you feel like you can be on your own two feet. Like, I just feel like there's this peace, right? Or you're not, you're giving too much now. You used to be like an overgiver, and now it's about receiving, okay? Now, what's interesting is that we have the Eight of Wands here, fire energy. So the Eight of Wands with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is all about quick messages. Oops, I just realized I had these flipped on here. So there's some kind of communication that I feel some of you are getting. Now, this could be from an individual, like I said, a fire sign here. But this is quick information. And I'm curious, and we'll see what the after tarot says, but I feel like this has to be doing with set boundaries. <clears throat> I feel like you're going to be tested here, collective. I feel like all of the work that you've been doing, the transformation and, you know, the inner work. Some of you, this is inner child work. Some of you, this is just like self-love, right? All of this work that you've been doing on yourself, it might feel a little bit heavy at times, but I feel like you're getting out of that energy. And there's something there's somebody coming towards you that is going to be giving you quick messages. It does feel something that is not that close. So it feels like the level of maybe a message through a text or an email, but someone has something important to tell you and it's going to be testing your boundaries. And I feel like that's what sacrifice is about, why it's reversed. It's like you're not doing that anymore. Now this, can, this, this doesn't have to be a love interest. This could be just a relationship in general, but it's gonna be testing your boundaries. Let's see what the after tarot has to say. Yeah, on the Seven of Cups, we have the Sun. On the Death, we have the Two of Swords. On the Angel of Night, are you kidding me? We have the Empress. And then we have the Page of Wands on the Eight of so, Yeah, so here's the thing. I'm going to get to that in one second. I'm going to start in the end here. Because this message, this Page of Wands, somebody is not happy about a new start, a new beginning. And I feel like you've put your foot down. Your boundary up here saying that you can't give any more to this individual. I'm hearing that, okay? So this can be in many different forms here, but this feels the level of somebody who's really taken the time to get to know themselves and it might feel a little bit rocky. It might even feel a little bit uncomfortable saying no to this individual, but I feel like someone is is basically saying whatever message comes in, I do feel strongly that it's basically stating that you gotta move forward without me. I don't see this being eye to eye or lining up, okay? Now that can come in many forms. It's weird to start in the end, but that's really what they wanted me to clear up is this other person in the picture because it's a testing. It's a testing of your boundaries here. Now the seven of cups, we have the sun. The yes card, the happiness card. This is the happiest of them all, guys. It's the yes card, it's the sun card, right? So I feel like there's a lot of options that I told you about. And some of these options you were probably like, like I said, things are being worked behind the scene. You are moving towards your happiness. You are moving towards alignment. What's interesting though, is that I think the options that come in might make you feel a little bit stuck because there's too many or it's like, I don't know which way to go. So as much as you're probably independent and on your own, it's now making decisions that feel right to you. So I feel like many of you are getting to really know yourself, okay? But it's really trusting yourself too to make the right decisions here. Now, death with transformation, I do feel like you have somebody here and it does feel like the en the energy of maybe not being able to set a boundary with somebody, being stuck or feeling stuck and kind of letting it go or letting this person walk over you, you ain't doing that anymore. I feel strongly that it's like I have to let go of this power and many of you, it's because you've done your homework. You've gone in to see what bothers you, what triggers you, what this person does to trigger you. You're seeing what aligns to you here. You are fully in your Empress energy here. Now, we all have the Empress in us, okay? We all have feminine masculine energy, Taurus, Libra here. But the Empress is about fertility. It's about a new beginning, a new birth of something. So in order to get to that point, I, I feel like you have to let go of some old things that no, may no longer serve you. And this may even include this individual. And it does feel strongly you're letting go of someone or at least saying the boundary is that you're not helping them. If it's not help, it's basically saying that 
you don't feel aligned to this individual that they, they have to move forward. But someone is definitely moving forward with a new beginning. I don't feel like you're going towards them, but there's some kind of message that comes in place here. It's like, it's almost here with Archangel Uriel about getting the messages, because it's all about receiving messages, is that you knew ahead of time, like you knew that this was coming. I feel like you knew this was coming. Let's get some more clarity though here, because I'm really interested. Let's get let's clarify what this um, this new beginning, this new birth is um, with the Empress energy. Can we get some more information on here, Spirit? Going towards something that is fulfilling for you. Okay. Now the Two of Cups. Some of you. Whoever this past person was, it's like you forgive them. Now, hold up. For some of you already are going, I'll never forget that person there did this to me, blah, 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 blah. I just triggered the fuck out of you. I know I did. <laughs> hold up. Doesn't mean that you have to forgive them in person. Doesn't mean you even have to talk to them again. It's something inside of you that has let go of something. It's your shadow self here. So you forgive somebody for you, not for them, for you. Some of you, okay? Others of you, the new beginning, the new birth, is that you have something special, a special bond that is forming, or you're looking to manifest that, okay? If you don't have this person in your life already. I do not feel like it's the person with the messages, though. I will tell you that. So let's see what this Page of Wands energy is about and this message is. Can you get more validations on this? What this is about, Spirit. Page of Cups. Look at all this page energy, young, young, in like young. This person can be a little bit immature. Page of Cups is water, Pisces, it's water energy, so it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But with these cards, guys, I feel like this person, and I keep hearing, I keep hearing they weren't ready. Um, they weren't ready to face you, they weren't ready to talk, they've probably been in and out of your life a lot. Or there was just something really immature about them, right? And it's like they never kind of met eye to eye. Now, if this is not a relationship, this could even be a younger younger friend or a younger sibling, all right? But there is an apology that is coming. But it could be like, I don't want to say it's like, because it doesn't feel like it's like a fake apology. It's just like this person apologizes a lot. Okay, so this person is just used to apologizing. So it's probably kind of like a mopey, like, I'm sorry. But, you know, they do it again, right? It's like, all right, well, now that you forgive me, let's go back in there and I'm going to do the same thing. Like, a fish goes flying back into the ocean. Like, wait, what? No. And I feel like you realize this about this person. I feel like you realize this person isn't changing into the level that you need them to be, which means you're not aligned with them. So I feel like you know this and I feel like you now see the options of like letting this person go. And that's what I just keep seeing. I feel like your boundary is I can't sacrifice waiting. I can't sacrifice my time. That's what it is. I can't sacrifice my time anymore. I don't want to wait for you to, to advance to what I need. Right? That's not fair to anybody in any parties in any level. But that's what it feels like. Interesting. Feel guided to do one healing message, so I'm gonna pull a healing card for you guys as well before I end this reading. What healing message do we have for the collective on this? Miracles. Believe that miracles do happen in the time that they knew. Some of you, it's almost like you never thought that you would have a chance to talk to this person or to be able to have this closure. Others of you, the miracles is, is that you believe in miracles still and this person was not your miracle. They weren't. But it's like, I'm, I'm going to still have faith and believe that I can move on or move forward because it's an opportunity that I want to move forward with and, and have something that I know I do deserve, right? I know I am in that new birth energy. I do believe that this is coming my way. I can't wait around or hold on. You've done a lot of work. Whoever is resonating to this, kudos to you. You need to hear. I mean, I... I just want to let you know if this, if you resonate in this level and you're feeling like you just, you, cause I feel like the person I'm talking to is very, um, doesn't really learn their boundaries, 
really learn their boundaries. And I just want to let you know, I am so proud of you. It's so hard to do. It's something that I struggle with still. So I am so proud of you if this resonates for you because that is such a big deal because there's a lot of feelings that come in when you have a boundary. Like if you're a people pleaser, it's like you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings or you don't want to appear selfish because you don't want to be spoiled. And it's all of this crap and shit that we hear that we're told and we're taught and it's not true and it's not real. So I'm so proud of you for breaking through that to be able to see what you really want and are really aligned to. So kudos to you if that does. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.